Everyone looks at a fighter like Anthony Joshua and sees a giant. But as a doctor, I see decades of biological evolution. If you think you can just hit the gym for a year or two and replicate this kind of power, well, you're fighting physics and medicine. Here is why the lifelong fighter is built different all the way down to the cellular level. Let's start with Wolf's Law. This is a foundational medical principle. You see, bone adapts to loads placed on it. Professional boxer who started at say 10 years old has spent thousands of hours creating micro stress on their metacarpals and their radius. Their body doesn't just heal those bones, it armors them. They are not hitting you with the hand anymore. They're hitting you with high density biological clubs. That is the medical difference between a flash knockdown and a shattered hand. But power means nothing without speed, and elite speed is built through myelination. Every time a fighter repeats the same hook, their nervous system wraps that neural pathway in a fatty insulating layer called myelin. Think of it like upgrading from dial-up internet to fiber optic cable. A lifelong fighter's brain sends the signal to the fist faster than a normal human can even process that a threat is coming. By the time your brain says move, the collision has already happened. Finally, there's the kinetic chain. A beginner punches with their shoulder. A lifelong fighter punches with the planet. The force starts in the calves, rotates through a reinforced posterior chain and exits through a core trained to stay rigid under extreme G4 stress. So when Anthony Joshua lands, he is essentially throwing his entire 240 pound mass through a three inch surface area. Medically, that's less like a punch and more like a high velocity car crash. A broken jaw, it's a given. This is why the community says, if you skip steps in this sport, the sport corrects you.